Storytelling can be an art, especially when the plot line is fictional and when it continues to build on multiple seasons. Now we're talking The Outer Banks, a show that continues to draw people in. So when you look at the script sometimes, are you like, whoa, buckle up? I, I would say every time. Strap in, yeah. you know, and like we also get them as we're shooting and then you're like, oh, okay. And mm -hmm. like we're in the middle of season three and then all of a sudden the seventh script comes out. You're like, yeah. okay, I see where they're going. What was one of your favorite lessons that this season taught you? Patience. I think that, you know, throughout this show, there's been a lot of John B's journey of, of jumping at the bit to try to solve or find a solution to things. And it's got him in trouble and, and put him and his friends in harm's way so often and so many times. And there's a lot of repercussions for those actions that start to sort of fall into his lap in, in this season in particular. And so I think for him being patient and, and learning and accepting the consequences for those actions is something that we see. So. Uh, I'm, it was nice because I needed that in my own personal life to, to be patient because uh, this industry definitely keeps you on your toes all the time. So it was fun to kind of take a, a page out of John B's book and, and put that into my own personal life. I would say the confusion and stress this season. I think every character goes through a lot of like, mm -hmm. what does this mean with the confusion? And like you and your dad, like, mm -hmm. and you're like, where do I stand with him oh. right now? <laughs> and and then, mm -hmm. then also JJ feeling like, is that mean like, my friend's gonna be hanging out with his dad more often then and not me and then it's like a whole thing so he gets a little a little directionless and uh, a little confused and just like their characters with all the ups and downs both of these actors and their real life stories are still unfolding tell me with this like growing the show and consistently having these seasons what has it been like for you both personally on a level of okay, now I'm here. Now I, I don't want to say have arrived, but kind of as actors. I mean, that's a big deal. Yeah, I think, you know, and I, I don't want to speak for the rest of the cast or Rudy himself, but I think we kind of recognize how beautiful of an opportunity this is and the platform that it's given us. Um, but I think as, as artists, you know, you always want to create. So yeah. I think we never want to be stagnant in our work. And we're very fortunate that we have the show that allows us to not be stagnant, right? Like, Every season has been a new journey and the characters have had new experiences. So we just kind of never allow ourselves to get too comfortable. And we, I think from day one, felt like there was a little bit of our backs against the wall. And Why is that? You just never know. I mean, with so much content out in the world right now, it's hard to figure out if things are going to work or if they're not going to work. So we kind of left the first season looking at each other saying, like, this was the best summer camp ever and <laughs> love you all dearly. And see you in LA I and then, don't know. Then, yeah. and then I stayed at your place for COVID you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. and then we did the whole pandemic together um but yeah like we didn't you never know what's going to work and what's not going to work and I think we knew we had something special or we had done something special but I don't think you ever really know how it's going to be um consumed by the world so it's it's been a very special journey and a very special experience and a lot of magic has happened. And the art of magic can be seen in their new season on Netflix.